Hi guys! Oh, I just want to squeeze you all. I have missed you guys so much. So much. Sorry, I'm like talk whispering. Hugo's sleeping in the other room. Oh, I've missed you so much. I've been, we've been home now for two weeks. I've been uploading, editing, and uploading all of the Disney vlogs. And if you have been enjoying those, I'm so happy. If you have not been enjoying those, thank you for like sticking with me for these past two weeks. I have loved reliving them, but like once we once we were home for a few days and we were like getting back into our routine, I started really missing you guys because I wasn't daily vlogging because I knew I was uploading these videos. And so I have just missed you all so much and I missed chatting with you. Today is Tuesday. We had a bit of an eventful morning. We had to go to the DMV and Jeff wanted to be there like first thing. And so we got there, it was like 7.30 in the morning. There was this huge line, like huge, huge, huge. We get in, um, we found out that I didn't really have to be there. I mean, I did, but I didn't have the appropriate paperwork for what we were trying to do. And so Jeff could do like the rest of what we needed to do by himself. And so I came back with Hugo. But by that point, it was already like 8.15 and normally Hugo goes down for a nap at 7.45, like 8 a.m. And if you have kids, then you know that like nap times are like the golden, the golden time for, you know, for mommy to like have her moment to herself. But also, if you sort of miss that window, sometimes it can be tricky to get baby to go to sleep. And so we got home, it's like 8.15, Hugo didn't fall asleep till nine. He's still napping now, which is good. But it was just a bit of a whirlwind of a morning all before 9 a.m. We're home now. Jeff is still at the DMV, bless his heart. Ugh. Um, he's planning on going to work after. So fingers crossed he, uh, like he's not there all morning. That would be just not cool for him. Um, I've missed you all so much. I missed you, I missed you, I missed you, I missed you. What do I have to update you on? Okay, so, okay, really quick. Um, I am allergic to the eyelash glue. I mentioned it in my Disney vlogs. I'm definitely allergic to like the normal eyelash glue that my eyelash girl was using, but we tried the sensitive glue. I guess she has like a sensitive glue and we tried that one and I don't seem to be allergic to that right now. So that's positive. Just wanted to, you know, in case you were wondering, <laughs> the edge of your seat about my eyelashes. Oh, there's a Mernie out there. I'll say, do you see the bird outside? Looks like it's gonna rain. Um, and then, oh my gosh, the other thing. So you know how I told, kept telling you guys about this, we're getting a TV unit, we're getting an entertainment unit, this big wall unit and drama. We like it, we kept checking online, when's it gonna come? When's it gonna come? We thought for sure it was gonna come while you we were away in Disney and it didn't. We kept checking and turns out it just it kept getting pushed back and no one could give us a straight answer and the company that we ordered it from deals with um, an overseas manufacturer and so they're like you can't contact them we'll contact them for you long story short we contacted them yesterday again after the estimated like arrival time of it got pushed back again and we were like okay either like you tell us when this piece is coming for sure or we're gonna cancel it. And so Jeff should be hearing either today or tomorrow, fingers crossed today, about the unit and like an actual ETA. And if it's like gonna be two months, then we're just gonna cancel it because we've been waiting since the beginning of March and it's just ridiculous. So those are the two like major things that I wanted to update you on. And yeah, just wanted to tell you that I missed you. I missed you so much. So uh, we don't really have any major plans today. I don't know, like I don't think we'll be going out or anything. And so it's just gonna be like a day at home. I'm gonna do probably some vacuuming, maybe a little bit of laundry, although I did get a lot of laundry. Hope you guys all had a great Memorial Day weekend and like enjoy time either with friends or family or just, you know, like with your little nuclear family. That's, you know, pretty well what we did. Um, and yeah, okay, I'm gonna go because I'm actually working on one of the Disney vlogs now. Um, I'm gonna go finish that. And I'll check back with you guys a little bit later. I missed you. I missed you. I did. Oh my gosh, guys. Hugo just stood up completely on his own and took a few steps toward the couch. So since he took those first few steps in Disney, which were indeed his very first steps, 
she hasn't fully, like, I know that with some kids, or like the majority that I've known, once they take those first few steps, it's just a matter of days before they're walking. But Hugo's been sort of the opposite in that it, he's been slower to want to walk. And after those first few steps, he's taken like a few here and there, but he definitely relies on crawling to get from like point A to point B. But he just right now, which is the first time he's ever done this, stood up on his own, which he's done before, but he's never then taken steps. He stood up and then took steps toward the couch. Isn't that amazing? Good job, Hugo. Yeah. He's so cute. I can't believe he's so big. Today's his 15 month birthday too. I'm going to do a 15 month update. Um, I know that 15 months doesn't sound like a sort of milestone, but we actually have a doctor's appointment on Monday of next week. And apparently it is a bit of a milestone. So I thought maybe doing um, an update would be good, especially for people who like don't watch these vlogs and don't really keep up with um, Hugo on like a weekly basis. Uh, and I know a lot of people have questions about like walking and that sort of development. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you, honey. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. This chair is like his new favorite thing. Yeah, you. I'm talking about your chair. That was really good walking. That was really good walking, honey. Hi, guys. Oh, this is what I needed. Why? The pantry open. Good morning. It is Wednesday. Um, yesterday we did exactly what I said we were going to do. We spent the entire day at home. Today is another gray and dreary day, but I'm going to take Hugo to a gym class today and I definitely need to do a little bit of food shopping because right now we are like almost bare bones in it, which is nuts because Jeff went food shopping on, I think it was Saturday? I think it was Saturday. He went food shopping and somehow now we are like, at, like how does that happen? I know we eat a lot, but I could have sworn he like got a lot of food. But anyway, I'm trying to take this cling wrap off with one hand and it's not working. Let's see if I can put it down for there for now. Anyway, I hope everyone's been having a good week. I can't believe it's Wednesday already. Um, the plan, like I said, you go gym class and then grocery shopping. I'm also like really, really hoping. Look at his outfit. Um, I'm really hoping that it does not rain while we are out. It's supposed to storm today, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen till later. Oh my gosh, there is a feather just floating in the air. Woo! That's cool. It's like magic. That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> I'll uh, catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys. It's two o'clock. I feel like I need to get back into the swing of weekly vlogging because I totally forgot to vlog pretty well this whole afternoon. Um, it wasn't that eventful to be honest. Hugo was in a bit of a mood all morning. I think he just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I think that's it, you know? Some, some days we wake up, we feel good. Other days, we don't. Uh, I know that he does have a molar that's coming in, so that's probably what's going on. Anyway, he came in the car, we went to his gym class, he fell asleep, he took a nice nap, that was good. And we had his gym class, it was lots of fun. And now we are going to go food shopping. So I'm at Whole Foods, we'll pop on in and get some groceries. Um, and that'll be our afternoon. Hi guys, we're home. He was watching some Mickey Mouse, so that's what you'll hear over there. Um, but I got a lot of great stuff. And it wasn't like a crazy price either, which was nice. Uh, I thought I'd show you some stuff, like a little grocery haul. I haven't done one of those in a while. I got two packets of cheese. If you're looking for really good vegan cheese, this is the brand to get. It's the Follow Your Heart brand, smoked Gouda and provolone. These are really delish. And then I got some Field Roast vegan sausages. Again, these are like the best vegan sausages. Um, although I do really like the Beyond Meat sausages, but these are better, so I'm like so out of breath. I just carried three bags of groceries upstairs. Um, the Beyond Meat sausages are better for like just on their own. These are really good on pizzas. 
This Santera veggie and bean taco skillet is so good. We had it last night for dinner and I had wished when we had it that I had some sort of like tortilla or something to eat with it. And I bought those, I bought another one because it was so good and then I bought the tortilla. So one night, maybe next week we'll have it again, but with the tortillas, that'll be so delish. Picked up a lot of vegan yogurt. The Kaito was on sale. It's an almond yogurt and Jeff really likes this lava yogurt. It's a, uh, what is it? I think it's coconut. Yeah, coconut based. Not my personal fave, but. So Jeff actually made his own vegan cheese this past weekend. I got him a book for Christmas a few years ago called This Cheese is Nuts. And it's a book all about how to create your own vegan cheeses out of different nuts. And we didn't have any crackers to try the cheese on. So I bought these two, two crackers. Kale quinoa bites, if you have kids. Or like plant-based kids, these are really good. Hugo seems to like them. Pears. This is one of two things I'm so excited about. The other I'll show you in a second. This is a Kalamata olive spread. I love olives so much. Kalamata olives are my favorite. And I love a good Kalamata olive spread for my toast in the morning or bagel or crackers. Oh, and this whole container is only $6, which I thought was pretty good, especially for Whole Foods. Got two containers of raspberries because they were on sale, um, a red pepper and some asparagus. Got two large, these are extra firm tofus and blueberries. We made, um, and I got more packets of it, like a green curry the other night with these um, tofu cubes and it was so good. This is the sauce we used. It's by Saffron Road, lemongrass basil. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Is this not the most random grocery haul you've ever seen? Um, but yeah, I got two. These are the tortillas I ended up getting. Vista Hermosa. Um, they look really good. And then this is the other thing I'm so stoked about. These are vegan chocolate chip cookies made by Whole Foods. They are so good. If you're looking for a really good vegan chocolate chip cookies that are soft, these are the ones. They don't always have them, but when they do, I pick them up. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And the last three things I got were some organic fingerling potatoes, some Daya mac and cheese. If you're looking for a really good vegan mac and cheese, that's the one. And then some pearled couscous, which might be like my top three. I think this comes in at number three of things I'm excited about. I don't love couscous, but I loved pearled couscous. Um, so yeah, really excited to eat that. Okay, it's definitely time for Hugo to have something to eat. Oh, I also got bananas. Um, so I am going to feed him and check with you guys a little bit later. All that stuff, I got a lot of stuff, was only $160, which for Whole is pretty good. So I very badly need to get a tripod for my iPhone. If you guys know any good ones, leave them down in the comments. Because I'm sure I could get one for like $10 on Amazon and I don't know why I haven't already. All right. Hugo's eating some lunch. I'm gonna make a smoothie for myself, but also make, like give some a little bit to Hugo. I want to show you guys what I've been loving in my smoothie recently. So I normally do a frozen berry blend. This is the 365 like Whole Foods organic brand. I'm just gonna jump that in here. I don't really mind like if my smoothies are tart or I don't love smoothies that don't have any sort of sweetness to them. I can do like very green drinks and juices, but I sort of prefer my smoothies to have a little sweetness to them. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. And we're just gonna put a little bit more. What's good about frozen berries too is that they tend to be a little less expensive than unfrozen berries, especially this time of year, now that berries are coming back into season. Oh, my fingers are dyed. Okay, so that seems like a decent amount. And we have the Vitamix, by the way. My husband's had the Vitamix for years and years. And it's his blender of choice. And then, do we want to put a banana in? I kind of don't. I kind of want to keep it like super simple. So I would put a banana in usually, but being that he was going to have some too, and he already had a banana today. Um, this is not sponsored. They didn't send me this wanted to show you I've been using the cachava this is a superfood <laughs> their tagline tribal superfood no it's a powder and I don't really call it like a protein powder although it does have 24 grams of protein per serving um, a serving size is two scoops which is 62 grams so there's 24 grams of 
uh, plant protein in it. It's vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, non-dairy. There's no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or colors, and no preservatives. Um, but more so than that, what I really love about it is like all the other added bonus benefits. So there's 26 essential vitamins and nutrients in it. There are 17 greens and veggies. So here on the side, I don't know if you can see it on camera. It sort of lays out all the blends. So there's a plant-based protein blend. So you have pea protein, brown rice protein, uh, and then they have some like more exotic proteins that I can't even pronounce, um, but they're all 100% plant-based. Um, and their whole story is that like they started in a small kitchen on the edge of a jungle and they wanted to like find the most exotic, nutrient-rich superfoods um, used and revered by tribal cultures for centuries. And um, they combined it all. There's a, uh... Elsie, you having fun over there? Um, there's an omega-3 blend from chia and flax, which is really important, especially for vegans. Eight antioxidant-rich superfruits. Um, adaptogens, green and veggies, digestive support. So it just has a lot of good stuff. And especially for me, I like, barely get time to eat anymore. Or like the time that I do have to eat, I never really want to like put something together. I usually just like eat, like I just add crackers, you know? So this is a really good way of getting all those nutrients in. Yeah, mommy's gonna make a smoothie. All right, so we have a chocolate one too, which is really good. And what's really delicious is if you do one scoop of vanilla and one scoop of chocolate. But for today, because I had berries, I don't know, I might have berries and chocolate, like, don't go together. And I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. The milk I give him, this is the Ripple brand. It's a pea protein milk. I don't know, it's unsweetened and I'm not like in the mood for something crazy sweet. And then I'll put a little bit of water. Because this already has like a lot of greens in it, I don't need to like worry about adding any, you know? All right, let me put this together. How do you like it? Delish? So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna pour myself some and then wash this. So mom pro tip, if your child is old enough to play with stickers, keep a few packs of stickers sort of like hidden away and then bring them out in the afternoon. I feel like the afternoon is when we start like kind of losing steam a little bit and they make for a fun time. <laughs> These are like puffy Disney emoji stickers that I found at Target and they keep Hugo pretty occupied for a little while. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's 7.40 on Thursday, and Hugo slept in today. Oh my gosh. I almost didn't even believe it when I heard him. So our new like morning routine, and I keep meaning to make morning routine video because I know a few of you have asked for that, but our new morning routine has been that he sort of like started stirring and waking up and we'll go get his milk for the morning and then we'll lie in bed as he drinks his milk. And so Jeff and I get a little bit of extra sleep and um, Hugo gets to just sort of enjoy relaxing in bed with us. So um, this morning, I remember like hearing him stir a little bit and then Jeff went to go get the milk and then Jeff came back and almost like immediately after Jeff's alarm went off. And I was like, that's so weird. Jeff normally sets an alarm every night, but like seldom uses it, right? Cause Hugo will wake up anytime between five and 5.30, usually without fail. And so we'll always laugh because we'll have already been up for almost an hour and then Jeff's alarm will go off at like 6.20. And lo and behold, oh my gosh, Hugo actually slept in until 6.20 today it was so magical right honey sure. if you want to sleep until 6 20 again we're not opposed sure. we've been using this so i think i showed you guys this is the bench that my mom ordered off etsy for hugo for i think his first birthday and it has little blocks that say um that spell out hugo and it's really cute and it's meant to be in the bathroom so that when he gets older he can step on it and use the sink and brush his teeth and stuff on his own but we've been using it as like a snack tray <laughs> and so i'll put like some of his puffs in there and he'll snack out of that isn't that funny anyway it makes a really good snack tray um oh hi elsie girl 
Um, so I'm sort of at a huge, huge, huge loss as to what we should do today. It's another rainy day. Apparently now it's supposed to rain this whole weekend. It's been raining all week and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with Hugo. I have a couple of ideas, but I don't know what, it, what makes me nervous is sometimes when I have a bunch of ideas of like what we should do, we end up not doing any of them. And I feel bad because I want to do something with him get out of the house i guess i also want to check the weather and make sure that it's not gonna be like if it's gonna be storming like last night it was storming like raindrops as big as apples were coming down it was nuts um so if it's gonna be like that obviously we'll just stay home and, and make do but if it's just gonna be like sort of drizzly and dreary all day then then we can head out oh my gosh i got a big amazon package last night and i wanted to show you what was in it because some things are kind of fun I should try not to rip it because I may have to send something back. So as I'm opening this, I'll just preface some things that are in here by saying that we have been having some sippy cup issues. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that yesterday I asked um, about some of your recommendations for sippy cups. Because I'm at, I'm at my wit's end with the sippy cups we've been using. The problem is Hugo is really particular with his sippy cup. Yeah. He's only 15 months old. So I'm sure like with time he'll learn how to use the 360 cup, which a lot of you recommended, and straws and stuff. But right now he doesn't know how to use them. And so we've been using these nubby, um, no leak, sort of like click in place sippy cups. These ones. So... He's loved them. And I was like, great, I could find them at TJ Maxx, found them on Amazon, like they're around. The problem with these is that if the top isn't like, these are a little bit different actually than the ones we have. So maybe these will be a little bit better. They're all like these like first sipper grip and sip cups. They're all like a little bit different, which is weird. I don't understand that, but maybe they like, maybe this is a better design because the silicone part of the ones that we have will sometimes come, I bought two, uh, will sometimes come just like, it'll come dislodge. Does that make sense? Sorry, it's still like really early. Um, it'll dislodge itself a little bit and it'll leak and it's so annoying. Yep. This is for LC. So I don't know, part of me was like, I wanna return these and just get rid of them and just try something else or like force the other ones on him. But these ones are different than the ones we have. So maybe those ones are worth giving a try and I don't have to unpack it full. Anyway, got Elsie a big thing of treats. Um, also, I'm so excited about this. This is so cool. So oh, let me show you what I get. Oh, it's really small. Wait, are you kidding me? This is so tiny. What the F? So I got a Stark Direwolf decal to put on my computer. Why do they show it online as so big? Look how tiny this is. Are you kidding me? This could be like a tattoo. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is such a bummer. I thought for sure it was going to be like, bigger bigger than this look this is like so little anyway i got a stark direwolf decal i was so excited this is really small whatever <laughs> either i'll use it or i'll send it back i think it was like five bucks which isn't bad but also like kind of ridiculous oh man anyway yep that's elsie's treats those are so heavy so yeah i'll keep you guys updated with the Sippy Cup Saga. Yeah, these are a little bit different. Let me grab, this is the one we had. So this is the nubby Sippy Cup that he has. Um, you can see that the tops, they're a little bit different. These actually look a little bit smaller than these. And the top is a little bit different, which actually gives me hope because this comes dislodged sometimes and so then it'll just start leaking also hugo has been able to and he did it with this one can you see that it's cracked he will chew it and then the, he'll bite into the silicone and the silicone will crack so yeah i guess we can try those and see and if they don't work then i'll send one of them back 
Um, but that was that was my Amazon order. I ordered one other thing, kind of <coughs> funny. Oh, you okay? Let's see. Yeah, it's okay. Um, a Funko Pop. <laughs> I love Funko Pops. But that's not that's not here yet. Yay! Good boy. All right, I can't remember the last time I vlogged. <laughs> Oh my. Um, we ended up going to his like play space um, for an hour to just like help him get some energy out, which was really good. And then we're home now. He had lunch. Then I made a smoothie for him. Um, I've been making these cachava smoothies that I told you all about yesterday. I'm sorry, my brain. I made one today, um, but it definitely came out like more of a pudding than a smoothie. It was, I used the chocolate. And I put a banana and almond butter and almond milk in it. And it came out so thick, but he loved it. Um, we FaceTimed with my in-laws, which was really nice. He kind of screamed the entire time. <laughs> but he seems to be doing a little bit better now. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. Okay, so my house is officially a mess. Like, a mess a mess. Um, so I think I'm going to spend the rest of today, I have about two hours before I have to start dinner, um, trying to tidy and clean because it's like a lot. Dumb and figured out the mystery of why this nubby cup is different than my other nubby cups. It's because this is a different age range. So they have different sippy cups for different ages. The nipples are different. And so this one is actually for four months plus. And I was like, okay, well... You know, like we'll we'll try it out anyway, even though I am sort of at my end, my patience end with the nubby cups. I'll give these a try, whatever. And because the top looks a little bit different. And Hugo drank a tiny bit of water out of it and then decided he hated it, and that's because the difference with the nipples is that even what you would call this? The spouts, I suppose. Um, is that this one, because it's the four-month sippy cup and the youngest sippy cup, this juts out a lot further than the other ones. So yeah, he hates it. He hates that this goes so far into his mouth. And I don't blame him because I just tried it and it's a lot. So I will return the other two that I bought. And if we have another baby, then hopefully these will get some use. But yeah, isn't that such a bummer? Love you. Oh, you're so sweet. <coughs> you're showing everyone your tongue. I hate my sippy cup. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Can I have a kiss? <coughs> Don't you bite me. Don't you do it. Hugo, no biting, no biting, no biting. Hi guys, good morning, it's Saturday. This morning, it's been something else. I think that's how I start every day. Um, it's okay, Daddy just went to go change the license plate. Um, Jeff, okay, long story short, here's what the plan is for today. Um, Jeff is gonna run to the post office and the UPS store. Oh, have I ever used this phone before? Jeff is going to run to the UPS store and post office and originally wanted him to take Hugo with him so I could get some filming done today and because I haven't, you know, we're back from vacation and the Disney vlogs are done so I don't have any other um, videos. So, um, but I think it might just be easier for Jeff to leave Hugo here and Jeff to go run those errands by himself and my mom's going to come over. And um, she has some stuff that she wanted to drop off, but then she was like, oh, I can watch Hugo and you can film. It was so sweet and so incredibly helpful. So I think that's what we'll do is my mom can come watch Hugo, Jeff can go. And um, my dad's also bringing over, um, my, when my grandmother, my mom's mom passed away a few years ago, a couple years ago. Um, and then my parents sold her house, my, my mom, took some stuff my cousins took some stuff and we were so lucky and, and got to keep some stuff and one of the pieces I guess we forgot at the storage unit um the storage unit was still under our name so um my mom went to finally like, go close off the storage unit and she saw this hutch piece that we that is ours and so uh, my dad's gonna bring that over today too so there's just like a lot of moving pieces today and add in like a temperamental toddler 
uh, like it's hard to sort of juggle it all but um yeah it's saturday so like all is good and it's the weekend i love the weekend <laughs> All right, I'm going to take care of him and uh, check back in in a bit. Hi, guys. It's been such a day. Oh, my word. So, it's about 3.30 now, and uh, I felt like today has been the day of, like, almost doing absolutely nothing, like, getting nothing done. Today, I only had two goals, one to film and two to clean. Neither, it was 2, maybe 2.30, neither of those things were happening. And I was about to like lose my mind thinking like, oh my gosh, what has today been? Like today has literally been a day of nothing. I get more done during the week when it's just Hugo and I, like what is happening? Hugo had like a bit of a mental breakdown, like mental meltdown um, when he woke up from his last nap. My mom was here and he just like freaked out. He like didn't want to eat any of his snacks and like, it was just a lot, sorry if I'm robbing the camera a lot, my arm is like getting really tired. Um, long story short, like all is well that ends well. I just filmed, I'm like getting a little bit of me time, which I'm so grateful for. My mom is with my son and I think Jeff's at the gym, but like today's just been one of those days where I'm like, what is going on? Like, why do I feel like I'm like not getting anything done? I think the biggest part is that like, I just feel like our place is such a mess. Like, not even like a cute, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna film like a clean with me, like a major disaster. But like, really, it's like, there are some crumbs on the floor. Like, no, like this is like, when I say a major mess, I mean like, it freaking looks like we moved in last night. Like, a disaster. And it's not even like, I can't film this and show it online because like, it's just a mess. And so I'm just feeling so overwhelmed and like most of the stuff that's like out and messy is the stuff that's going into the entertainment center and you guys know that freaking entertainment center is the bane of my existence and Jeff like we talked to the woman from the company I think I told you guys the company is Coleman Furniture's furniture Coleman Furniture I don't know um and had I known that I was gonna take freaking almost like ugh, months and months and months for the piece to come I would never have ordered it but the problem is like after scouring the internet for like white entertainment centers this was the only one that was like fit the dimensions of our wall perfectly and so they said like okay it's it's due to ship now at the end of June and we ordered it March 4th it's due to ship at the end of June and like now it's really like our decision whether or not we want to cancel the order which we can do or like continue on with it but there's like no promises that like it won't keep getting pushed back because originally we we're supposed to get it in May like the beginning of May so I don't know what we're gonna do with that but like that's the reason why our place is such a mess like there's books everywhere but like it's just awful so anyway I'm just I'm just talking I'm just like getting it all out because I feel like it's finally like reaching a point, like a boiling point where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is insane. Like, it's just insane. We moved in here uh, in like the middle of February and I still feel like we aren't fully unpacked. And I don't know. Are we ever going to be fully unpacked? I don't know. But I'm glad I got that filming done. It's finished. Uh, I have to do some editing now. I'm sorry that this weekly vlog was such a hot mess, but I feel like I'm getting back into like the film and groove and like my regular life is such a hot mess. <laughs> such a hot mess. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are watching, I've already been filming for five minutes. So I'm going to sign out of this week's weekly vlog. Monday, we have Hugo's doctor appointment, his 15 month checkup which I'm really excited for because I'm interested to see how much he's grown and how much he weighs. And I'm going to do like a 15 month baby update video too to go along with that. Um, so I will film Monday. Um, so I'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like I just want to say like I miss you guys so much. I want to give you all a virtual hug. I wish we could hang out and just like, I wish you could come into my place and actually see how crazy it is. And then you'd be like, okay, yeah, we get it. Like, you know, it'll eventually get put away. You're fine. Like it's good. I just, ugh, I can't. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next week's weekly vlog.